Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all. I am Muhammad Sakib Rahman Nating. Today I am going to give my presentation on Optimus Design of a Grid Connected Hybrid PV Beam Biomass System in Rashegi using Hoverflow. My thesis supervisor, sir, is Professor Dr. Muhammad Shami Manwas, sir, Head, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. The outline of my thesis presentation are introduction to the topic in hand, objective, uh, objective of my thesis presentation, literature review, methodology, and tools used in the simulation process. Optimal location selection and resource analysis for the hybrid system, load profile analysis, hybrid power system design analysis and simulation, optimization and result evaluation, conclusion and future work, and references. First, what is hybrid power generation system? The hybrid power generation system is a hybrid combination of two or more natural resources to gain the full potential of renewable energy. The Homer simulation process for the hybrid system gives us a clear idea about determining the optimized result on specific location for the availability of natural resources present in that region. The objective of my thesis is to analyze the energy load for the chosen region of Russia city population to examine and analyze the sustainable power potential mainly for those three resources, biomass, sun based and wind, to design a PV wind biomass cross grid framework in a suitable location in Russia region. Economic and environmental effect analysis of this hybrid power generation system. Many past studies on the hybrid power generation system using renewable energy source has been studied throughout the thesis. Among them, in our first literature review, the feasibility study of Chicago University is present. Implementation of power model is present, and a grid connected PV system with battery backup is also present. The limitation of this literature is that the, mo uh, the model only works for Chicago University specific location. The situation has changed since 2012. Possible ways of improvement of this literature is by changing the location and by implementing present data. In our second literature review, gives an overview of the country's power system, gives a, gives a proposition of specific PV module for a specific location, clearly explains the reduced greenhouse gas and cost. And the limitation of this uh, thesis is the model only works for a specific location. The situation has changed since the publication. The possible ways of improvement are implementing the present data and adding specific location. The methodology used in my thesis is to identify the location in Russia region where it is most feasible to construct a PV wind biomass hybrid plant, collect the PV and wind energy data necessary for proposed system from NASA surface meteorology and solar energy, design and simulate the hybrid system for the selected location with the resource inputs. The tools used in, our, in my thesis uh, are Homer Pro microgrid analysis tool and NASA data access viewer. Now, the first step is to select an optimal location for the construction of PV wind biomass hybrid power plant. Based on the criteria of the PV and biomass hybrid power plant, the optimal location is selected in the Chor Rampur area, which is situated near the bank of Porda River. Now we have to analyze the renewable energy resources available in the optimal location. First, we consider the solar resources. Here, the data on PNS index and daily solar radiation is given for the specific location in figure two and three. Next, uh, next, the figure shows the monthly average solar GHI, which ranges from 4.21 kilowatt hour per meter square per day to 6.33 kilowatt hour per meter square per day, with an average of 4.88 kilowatt hour per meter square per day throughout the year. Now, we consider the wind energy resources. The figure shows the monthly average wind speed ranging from 3.96 meters second to 5.47 meters meter per second, with an average of 4.60 meter per second. The altitude above sea level is 23 meter and the anometer height is 25 meter. Next, the biomass fuel, which can be used in our biomass generator, mainly consists of animal manure, food and vegetable wastes, paper and paper products, polythene and plastic, and wooden waste materials. Uh, the figure at 7 shows the monthly average biomass production in the Russia city area, which can be utilized as fuel for biomass generator. Now, about load profile of the system. In our proposed system, two types of load consumers are defined. Commercial load consumers, community load, load, community load consumers. Their subsequent monthly average load demand are given in table one and two. The daily load profile of commercial and community type loads are given in figure eight and nine. The commercial load has a uh, 2,367 kilowatt hour per day consumption with a peak load demand at 376 kilowatt. The community load has a three, uh, 511 kilowatt hour per day consumption with a peak load at 68.37 kilowatt. 
The schematic design of the hybrid system is applied in the home and simulation software. The hybrid system contains photovoltaic array system, wind turbine system, biogas generator, system converter, storage system, and a local grid. The PV model used in the system is a flat plate with a rated capacity of 1 kilowatt. Nominal, nominal operating cell temperature at 40 degrees Celsius, generating factor of 80% and an efficiency of 14.50%. Other characteristics are shown in the table 3. PVRA cost cap is shown in this figure. Here the capital cost increases with the increased use of PVRA capacity in the system and the replacement cost increased at a gradient rate with the increase in the capacity. The wind turbines used in the system are generic 10 kilowatt wind turbines with a rated capacity of 10 kilowatt and a half height of 40 meter. It has a startup wind speed of 3 meter per second, rated wind speed at 14 meter per second, and cutout wind speed at 21 meter per second. The cost curve of the wind turbine is shown in figure 2. The biogas generator used in the system is generic 500 kilowatt biogas with a rated capacity of 500 kilowatt, minimum load ratio of 50%, and a lower heating value of 5.5 megajoule per kV. The converter in the system contains inverter and rectifier. Both have an efficiency of 95% and it is connected parallel with the AC generator. The battery used in the storage system is a 1 kilowatt hour lead acid battery with a nominal voltage of 2 volt and a nominal capacity of 1.03 kilowatt hour with a maximum capacity of 5.13 ampere hour. It has a minimum state of charge at 40% and a string size of 2. Now that you know the resources and the component characteristics used in the hybrid system, we can apply the simulation process using Homerpo. Homerpo initializes all the possible combination of components of the system to satisfy the load, load demand. All the possible solutions of the load demand are shown in the optimization table in figure 14. The optimization table is categorized based on the lowest net present cost from the figure. We can see that the marked row at the very top gives us the lowest net present cost and the lowest overall cost for the system in a 25 year lab. So based on that economical aspect, this, this solution is chosen. The chosen optimized result contains 329 kilowatt PV module, 27 number of 10 kilowatt wind turbine, 500 kilowatt biogas generator, 902 number of 1 kilowatt hour lead acid batteries with two batteries on each string, 230 kilowatt converter system, and a load following dispatch, dispatch type. Uh, figure 16 illustrates the monthly average electric production for the hybrid system. And table 8 shows the individual electricity production of each of the generator type. Here, 50.1% of the load demand is produced by is, is produced by biogas genset, 30.4% by the PVRA system, and 19.4% by the wind turbine. Table 9 illustrates the cost summary for each of the component type in the hybrid system. The capital replacement, operating and maintenance, and fuel cost for each of the component types are illustrated. The total cost of the hybrid system for a 25 year lifetime is about 6.21 million dollars. Now we are going to discuss about why we should use the PV wind biomass hybrid system instead of a non renewable based power system. For this uh, comparison, we have considered a 500 kilowatt diesel generator. We can see for the same load profile, the net present cost of a hybrid system is 14% less than that of a 500 kilowatt diesel generator. The cost of the energy operating and maintaining cost is also quite less. The only drawback for the hybrid system is that the initial capital investment in a, is higher than a non renewable power system. In the, in the environmental aspect, greenhouse gas emission is much less in the case of a hybrid system compared to the non-renewable power source. PV and biomass hybrid system causes very much less uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxide emission than that of a 500 kilowatt diesel generator. In conclusion, we can say that the Pogos PV wind biomass hybrid power system is much more efficient and reliable in both economical and environmental aspects. There are much more, uh, much more work that can be done in the improvement of our hybrid system. The more efficient and updated cost analysis instead of the components can be implemented. Uh, simulation process um, implemented. Some of the uh, generic and default inputs of the component used in the simulation process can be updated and optimized. The hydrokinetic energy of the pod, of the Podda River can be added to the hybrid system to expand the power generation capacity. If diesel generator is applied, then we can implement emission penalties and limit of carbon emission. Here are the references to my thesis presentation. And thank you. If you have any kind of question, feel free to ask.